What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix the unable to launch game please verify game data error for GTA 5 on the Epic Games Launcher. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, open up your Epic Games Launcher and in your game library select this burger menu and click on verify to verify the integrity of your game files. This will re-download and replace any missing or corrupted game files and should take a minute to complete. As this is requested by the error for most users, this should help fix the issue. In case the problem persists, then make sure that you only have one instance of GTA 5 installed to your system. You should uninstall the Steam or Cracked version if this is the case for you. In your Steam library, right-click Grand Theft Auto 5 and navigate to Manage and then select Uninstall. When this is done, open up the Rockstar Games Launcher. Here, open up your settings and then in a General tab select Scan Now for supported installs. This will scan your PC for titles supported by the Rockstar Games Launcher and add them to your library. You should do this to delete any duplicate game titles still installed to your system. In the Updates tab, I suggest you to also disable desktop notifications and background downloads as these can additionally cause issues on your system. Some people have also reported that their main sound card from ASUS is causing the error on their system. Changing it to the onboard sound card has helped fix the issue for them. And as always, make sure that your operating system and GPU driver is up to date to get the most performance out of your system. Search for Update to open up the Check for Update system settings. Here, select Check for Updates and you will be able to automatically download and install the latest OS update. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application in order to keep the graphics card driver up to date. In the Driver tab, simply select Update and the application will download and install the driver for you. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.